Hey man, what's good? It's your boy Cartier B, and today I am going to be unboxing the Mason Mihara Yasuhiros, or however you say that. I will also be reviewing it and doing an on foot try on. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Now let's roll the intro and let's get it, man. Let's go. All right, man, so I actually have had this for a little bit. If you are sub to this channel, then you would have seen it in the last sneaker pickup and my sneaker collection. But for anybody looking to buy the sneaker, this video will be perfect for you or also just to get a better idea of it, I guess. So it does come in this box right here saying Mason Mihari Yasuhito with the little sun symbol or whatever that symbol is. And then it does have the sizing right here. So it is in European sizing so i'm pretty sure it's european where it's like 43 42 41 so that's the sizing that it does come in and then it does also have this little shoe like thing that's the shoe that it is so it has it listed on the bottom when you open up this box it does actually come in this dope little towel type thing let me show y'all it does say mihara yasuhiro all through it now it isn't just your typical type of paper as you would it kind of feels like a it feels like a towel or a cloth of some sort. Now, after you open this up, each shoe does come in this little towel bag. It's the same material as this, and it's just separate like dust bags, if you will, for the sneaker. So each one has its own little dust bag, and it comes like this. Now, I promise you, once you unbox them, you're like, dang, these are actually really, really big. But let me take it out of its first dust bag right here. So it comes just like this and you could just slide it out like so and boom man you got your sneaker it does come with these little things inside of it these shoes are absolutely beautiful and trust me as you start putting them on more you realize dang i could really throw these on with absolutely anything so i do feel like the packaging and the presentation of these sneakers does actually go a long way it is really nice packaging considering that it's not just paper that's wrapping over it's actually some sort of towel now on the soles it does have this sun symbol of sorts and then it does have this little sticker just saying it's made in China so one thing that I do think is really cool about this shoe is the tongue where it says this quote it's called you know, the wearing instructions it says trust yourself wear your way of life never forget to love have fortitude belief in your creativity never bend your head and always hold it high and then of course it does say mmy footwear which stands for mason mihara yasuhiro footwear now there are a bunch of cool details on this sneaker so when i did purchase it i thought that this was the sole but this is just a faux like it's a fake sole i guess this is the actual sole that you're walking on, and this is just like a fake sole for design, I guess. I did not know that. I thought that this was a sole, so that is a big misconception. It does have this tab right here. Now, the model that I did get was just the all-white raw finished one. So, this all has some type of like painting on it right here, here. I don't know if you guys could see the texture of this. If you guys could see the texture, this does kind of have some type of painted finish all the way through the back up here it's all and it's hard so right here is all cloth well not cloth but this is all canvas and then here is this hard painted finish going into here towards the upper and all of the laces not all of the laces but the laces are all massive so there <laughs> that's what i love about them it does remind me of the puma suede where it does have the chunky laces in it now all these laces are kind of knit in a way like it's all looks like it's been woven you know what i mean which also i think is really cool so besides from the painted finish super hard and then the chunky laces the quote as you guys can see there's already a bunch of great details now this does have that iconic chunky bigger outsole than a normal converse would have everything it almost looks like a cartoon shoe you know what i mean it kind of looks like a cartoon shoe everything is just super exaggerated 
chunky from the sole of the shoe to the laces now this shoe is very very good quality after walking in, around in it a little bit it definitely does have good quality now on the inside of the tongue there is white stitching going all the way around so they're just a bunch of cool little details now for the price that you do pay for it you know what i'm saying you better have those details you see what i'm saying and then Right here, it says Sublime meets Ridiculous. Now, if you take out the paper, the tissue paper that it comes in, it does read the wearing instructions again in the sole. And then it does have the logo from the front box right here in that little square. Mesa Mihara Yasuhiro. And then I'm assuming that it's that writing in Japanese or Chinese, whatever ethnicity he is. And on the heel tab right here, it does say MMY. And it's also kind of an enlarged type of cartoonish logo, if you would. Now, all of these little, uh, I don't know what to call them, shoe hole tabs, I guess. They are all metal, which is also pretty cool because I feel like it does go with the sneaker very well. Now, one thing about these is that these are not the most comfortable shoe. Like if you think of a New Balance or a Yeezy, these aren't going to compare in comfort at all. But to be fair, this isn't meant to be a comfortable sneaker. It's more of like a high high fashion type of uh, shoe. Yes, just don't be expecting the most comfortable sneaker when you do get this. Now, over time, what I do love about this is that the top of these sneakers do actually get distressed over time and more wear. So over time, this will start being more distressed, which just gives it more character in my opinion, which is also another cool detail that he did add on here because he could have just left this finished, which I'm pretty sure you can get the version which is finished, but I did get the raw cut version just so that this would end up distressing because if this is raw, then it's gonna end up distressing and it's gonna look really, really fly. So over time, it's gonna look even more dope. Now, another thing that I left out is that there's actually that same paint is going all the way around this tab, all the way through it, down it. So that's cool as well. Now, I know y'all are probably like, Oh, also, can y'all let me know down in the comment sections below, what are these used for? I know they're in Converse, all stuff like, bro, what are these used for? Nobody's finna put their shoelaces through there. Anyways, though, I know y'all probably saying, dang, how much is this guy talking? He's really going into detail. Well, let me stop talking and throw these on the feet for y'all. Now, on feet, these do actually look really, really cool, and they don't look as big on the feet as that i thought they would they do look a little more regular than i thought you know i thought that they would be a little more outlandish but they are but they're not like crazy where everyone's gonna be like ew what is he wearing you know what i mean it's just kind of subtle that is all for the review and the on feet of the mason miharas I hope I did cover everything in this video. Now, if I didn't, and if you guys have any other questions, then let me know down in the comment sections below. And I love you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. No cap.